Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on Crypto for GrowMyBag.tv. Hope you're having a good day. There's a lot of news going on today. Um, we're going to start with Cardano. <laughs> the reason why I'm starting with Cardano is because their price has moved. I kept, you know, I told you a couple of days ago, well, you know, if they've got their new, you know, uh, upgrade coming out and that's actually a really good thing that's, that's happening for them. And then, but it takes a while for it to actually kick in with the public. Well, now it's kicking in and now they're actually showing positive for a year to, when you look at their year to date. So that's actually a really cool thing. Something else that I keep telling you guys to look at is the fact that Cardano doesn't make a move. They don't do upgrades. They don't do anything unless it has been thoroughly tested. And Charles Hoskinson of Input Output is crazy diligent about that. He's absolutely diligent about that. Him and his team are no joke. So that's why I tell you to pay attention to Cardano. Cardano is one of those one of those uh, networks that doesn't experience problems. It's wicked fast, and they have a development environment that's really inviting to people that are building. You know, to you know teams that are building DApps and things like that. That's why I keep telling you to pay attention. I know everybody's paying attention to Solana and Polygon, but I'm telling you, Cardano is another one that I pay attention to. It's something else that I paid attention to. I wasn't expecting huge numbers like this, but I guess I should have given just the price of Bitcoin and everything that's been going on. But Coinbase reported $273.4 million uh, profit. And it was a big beat. It was a really big beat, so they're surging. Remember what I told you? I said, I look at things, you know, a little bit more holistically. I look at, you know, what's in the stock market that can, that can affect crypto and vice versa. Well, here's a company that is obviously into the crypto market, a part of the crypto market, and they are doing amazingly well from a stock perspective. The only coin they have is base, and it's really not a coin. It's more of a tool that they use that you can build upon. So looking at that, the play for Coinbase is to actually buy Coinbase stock to buy coin, which if you look at ARK Invest, they, Kathy Wood recently, I just told you what, yesterday, they recently sold $34.3 million worth of it. And you might say, well, damn she missed the surge she has a habit of selling just before there's an upward tick she also sells when you know just before just ahead of downward tick so you know she's cons there can the whole her and her whole team are consistent like that and you might say oh but she missed out on this did she really though did she really because arc invest slash 21 shares they've partnered to create this bitcoin spot etf is ranked third BlackRock, Fidelity, and then all the way down here, number three, ARK Invest. I'm sitting there and I'm kind of going, yeah, not bad. That's driving Van Eck to drop their prices. What is it, down to 0.2% or something like that? Uh, two tenths of a percent? The big deal is that Van Eck, I think, is a larger company than both of them. And they're not swinging in third place. And I think that's got them bothered. <laughs> I really do think that that's got them bothered. Um, something else that I'm that I'm looking at is the inflows. And there's going to come a point where everybody stops talking about how much money is flowing in because it'll hit a point where it's now settled, right? It's hit that kind of you know gentle space where everybody's everybody's happy, right? But I keep looking at it and I keep seeing you know. Those ETFs have crazy, crazy inflows. Something else that I noticed, gold ETFs have, have been having crazy outflows. Now, I don't know if that money's going directly in, but you know, there seems to be a little, at least a little bit of a correlation, at least a little bit. Gold is a precious metal. Um, it, it has tangible value. It is, it, it was the, uh, it is the number one stored value um, asset but here comes Bitcoin and you've got to start to wonder something else that's affecting Bitcoin is the fact that well you know people are saying that you know who was it standard and charters um, what's his name Jeff Kendrick um, is saying listen we're expecting um, 
pensions to be diving into these Bitcoin spot ETFs to offer their customers exposure into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Whoa. Every shoe that drops, right, takes the potential price of Bitcoin and shoots it up. And he thinks you're going to start to see that happen in 2024. And I agree. And, you know, there was a company that started taking money out and having help, having <laughs> helping people get paid in crypto like the Yankees experimented in that where they, you know, play, you know, players could get paid in crypto. I think my light's going out. I have to change the bulb. That's fun. Um, so I've got lights on either side of me and that one's going out. I think I have one more. Uh, so we'll get to that. So I think it's like 7,000 rated 7,000 or something like that. So there, it's not like I could just go to any store and pick it up, but, but looking at all that action around Bitcoin, and then you have all of the applications that are coming for Ethereum spot ETFs, you start to realize, yeah, it's going to be a while before things settle down. So as you see Bitcoin start to tick up a little bit, I think it's going to gain speed. Imagine what's going to happen when this pension says they're buying into BlackRock or, you know, Grayscale or, you know, Ark, you know, ARK Invest 21 shares or Fidelity or whoever. Imagine when that happens, when that news starts to hit, that it's at least an option for their customers. Right. And I want to stop and think about this. When you talk about pensions, you're talking about, you know, pension funds. Pension funds represent the regular person, it's not just going to be big institutions like BlackRock and the wealthy that are going to have access to it. Just saying. Just saying. Um, so something else that caught my attention was Uniswap. Uniswap is saying their version four is going to drop in Q3 of this year. Well, that sent Uniswap, Uniswap up a bit. Remember what I told you about how news works? Hey, we're doing, we're going to do something. Hey, we're doing something. And then, hey, we did it. Those are the top three legs when news drops right so i pay attention to that so right now hey we're doing something not we're going to hey we're doing something next one will be hey we did it just saying and then hopefully after that you get one more tasty tidbit which is look how well we're doing that will be the one so i do pay attention to news drops like that that come in that come in that kind of a pattern because I'm waiting for the next one because I want to build up for that next one. So I, if I made an investment based on some news that I believe in, I'm paying attention to that roadmap. Why? Because I might have an opportunity to buy some more before that next news drop. And it, hopefully it's a positive news drop. And then it pops again. I get to take a profit, right? And then, you know, it'll die down thereafter. I've taken my profit, it'll die down thereafter, and I get maybe one or two more opportunities to buy in before the next positive news drop. That's why I pay attention. That's why I identified that kind of news cycle, right? And it's because there's a lot going on there. Something else that's, that's going on. Supposedly, there are some regulations that could come that could affect Tether's dominance in stable coins in the United States. That could be big. Do you want to know something else that goes along with that? Well, guess what? Banks are begging the SEC, let us play with crypto. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Hey, all these other companies are able to play with crypto. Why can't we? Good question. Why can't they? Very good question. So I'm sitting back and I'm kind of going, yeah, that, that could be something that happens. That could be a thing. So... Again, I try to pay attention to how news flows. I try to pay attention to regulations. I try to pay attention to, you know, what kind of events are affecting, you know, what kind of macro events are affecting the market overall, what kind of micro events are affecting, you know, pockets of the market, and what kind of mini events are affecting or being affected by coins, you know, coin specific events. That's what I try to pay attention to. Anyway, you know what we should do? 
That's right, we should get into the numbers. So let's see. Let's see. All righty. So right now, Avalanche is down 4%. I'm not paying attention to that. I don't think the news has really hit people that Avalanche is in bed with freaking City. City and a couple other fund managers. We should be paying attention to that because they're they're testing out their proof of concept is to test out the tokenization of stocks. Boom. That's what we should be. We should be paying attention to news like that. We really, really should. Because everybody that's doing fractionalize this, fractionalize that, this is where it's going. And now that's going to be easier to bring that to everybody and not just specific places. I'm waiting for the real estate market to catch up to do that with titles. That's right, title on a house. Sounds interesting, right? I'm waiting for um, the, the Department of Motor Vehicles in each state to do the same thing when it comes to car titles. Imagine what that would do to, you know, for stolen cars, you'd know it. Did you also know that I, I heard about something where, you know, a car company, I'm not going to mention the name because I haven't been able to corroborate the story, but I have heard many stories like this. Car company sells a car, happens to be a stolen car, right? Gets impounded. The car gets returned back to that company that originally sold the car with a new title. It doesn't look like it was ever stolen, so they get to sell it again. This time, the person will be able to keep it because they have a brand new title on it. The person that bought it originally gets hosed. Gets hosed. Something like that. Like that is something you're paying attention to, which is looking at just where can you implement blockchain? Where can you implement those kinds of things? It's kind of cool. There's a lot of places. So anyway, let's get let's go over the numbers. <clears throat> Light is going to piss me off. Um, Dog with hat is down 16. I told you, big sways. The other day it was up 38%. Now it's down 16%. Big sways. Big, big sways. Right now it's at you know $385 million market cap. Yeah, pay attention to it. Beam down 10%. But they've got a $1.4 billion market cap, right? So there's the pre-500 500 million, pre-100 million, you know, the 500 to 1 billion, the 1 billion to 2 billion, 2 billion and beyond. 1.4 billion is a respectable number. It's a more than respectable number. So that's why I'm saying we, sh we should be paying attention to certain things. Helium. Helium is, is down 6%. Nice little move. They had been up. Helium and Helium, Helium Mobile. Um, anything else that I'm paying attention to? Jupiter's down. I think this might be the second day in a row that Jupiter's down uh, 5%. Interesting. Or been down, period. Avalanche, I think this is just a tiny little correction. People taking a little bit of profit. But I really don't think it's really hit the mainstream that City is really in bed with Avalanche and they're really doing all this work. So that's something I'm paying attention to. Everybody else, like I said, after, you know, after 5%, there's nothing really to talk about. Then on this side, on the winning side, uh, Render Token is up 13%. That's a name I pay attention to. Helium Mobile, I just mentioned that, up 30%. 30%. So Aptos getting into bed with Jambo Technologies to create a mobile phone to give access to you know, emerging markets for only 99 bucks, what do you think they're going to do? Are they looking at Helium? Are they looking at Solana's iPhone? Are they looking at those wins and thinking, hey, we can do that? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking, right? Vthor is up 20%. Uh, let's see who else. <laughs> R Weave up 12%. They had just been up a little while ago. Um, who else am I looking at? V Chain, big moves, big, big moves. And I'm expecting even more moves. They've got upgrades that are coming up. So, again, we're going to do something. We're doing something. We did something. V Chain is at the we're doing something. 
and they're about to drop with, hey, we did it. And I think that's why they're up, up 9%. That's a big deal. Yes, I have a little bit of a bag of VeChain. Um, even a little bit of a bag of VThor. That's right. Uh, who else? Uh, BitTensor up 8%. They were up yesterday, too. Um, something else to pay attention to. Let's see. ThorChain up 8%. Again, start paying attention to those those names that you don't that you don't look at i'm telling you if they're in the billion dollar mark look at sats ordinals if they're in that billion dollar space yeah i'm paying attention those and those ones like thorchain that are about to bust through that two billion dollar mark yeah i'm paying attention there are opportunities there so that, that's when I start to look at that specific coin. I, what's your use case? Do I think that use case is going to pop anytime soon? Do I have time to buy now so that it'll pop later because of the specific use case that it has? Like VeChain. VeChain is known for logistics. So if if they're in bed with like the likes of Walmart and, and other companies like, in, like countries in like Barcelona and Spain, yeah, they're out there doing stuff. If they have a specific use case, and I think that use case can be leveraged going forward, it's a timing of when people are going to get into that space, going to get into that particular project. That's why I'm paying attention to it. So let's start from the beginning. Earnings. Who's up on earnings that I should be paying attention to? Uh, Archer Daniels, Midland, sure. Hyatt Hotels, definitely going to be looking at that because I want to know what's going on with travel. Um, Liberty Broadband, yep, another one I want to pay attention to. Healthcare Realty Trust, yeah, want to pay attention to that. That's another commercial, another commercial uh, real estate play, another REIT. Um, number one in that space, I think, is Realty Income. And Realty Income, what has, I think, currently 644 consecutive dividend payouts think about that that's that's big that's big um let's see who else da -da 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 -da. yeah there's nobody else that i'm really paying attention to on this on this uh on this list today that really has me you know looking hard all right what else do we have we're expecting ppi today you know core core producer price index we're expecting those numbers today fed president is a fed president is talking michael barr um crypto is still at 72 percent or 72 in the uh fear and greed index and look at this number 93 we're holding pretty strong above 90 in tvl that's huge 93.699 billion dollars in total value locked then you have bitcoin that's still above fifty two thousand dollars fifty two one ninety three that's not bad i'm not going to cry about that but again we're starting to move laterally so you're waiting for that next big move so yeah it hasn't come down significantly which is why i think it's going to go up significantly looking at these numbers have you been paying attention to ethereum quietly it's up at 2800 is three thousand that far away i don't think so I really don't think it's that far away. XRP is up. Cardano is up. Cardano is up almost at almost at 60 cents, right? So those are the things that I'm looking for is what kind of movement are we having? And are we correlated to anything else? Is there another coin that we're correlated to that does the same thing in terms of use case that I could be moving at the same time? Again, something I pay attention to, right? Because what I want to develop is I want to develop a crypto research framework all the different parameters that i'm looking at so i can easily and quickly weigh a given project real quick that's actually going to be a topic in the class that i'm giving all right anyway this is eddie j on crypto for grow my TV. i hope you're having a good one and remember all the things just about everything i talk about is actually published previous to me even shooting the videos anyway hope you have a good one Bye bye